might be starting to see a turn now. This one? All right, got fish on, guys. Fish on, fish on. He's coming up shallow water right here in the Cooper River. Thought it was snagged up. It was, I guess, for a minute. I could feel it, but he wasn't moving. Right. Did a flathead? First Cooper River flathead, maybe? Or is it a dark blue? It's the first fish of the day is what it is. Yes, sir. Let me get the net. All right. On the brute. Oh, oh. <laughs> I dropped the net. Hey, hold my rod. I get to fight the fish too, guys. It slid out of my hand. I thought I was going to go right down. Here, I got you. Go ahead and net it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, look at there, guys. The monster rod holder net floats. I'm glad it does. I just wasn't sure. It floats. It floats. I shift my hand up on it. Right on my hand. <laughs> no. Yeah, I think our current has shifted, guys. So we're going to reel up here in just a second. That's, that's what I tell you. As soon as the current shifted, yeah. what? The fish were going to start hitting. Come on. All right, we'll be back and unhook that. We're gonna get these lines out the water before we get tangled up. All right, there we go. First fish of the day. Not a bad one. Good dark blue. We thought it was a flathead. Yeah, nice. Got that wind blowing. Sorry about the wind, y'all. Come up here. All right, there he goes. Yeah, he went down. All right. We are spot locked in the river. Basically, that means that I press an anchor button on the trolling motor and it'll lock in the GPS coordinates and try to keep us within three feet of that spot. Uh, but we have a pontoon boat and the wind is blowing upriver, which makes it kind of unique. The back end of the boat is wanting to go upriver. Um, but we want to fish out the back of the boat, so we need it to go straight. So what I've done is I've taken a small drift sock and I've thrown it in behind the boat here, and that's pulling the back end of the boat around to where it's supposed to be. So it's a pretty unique way to, to spot lock in the river. Uh, a lot of people do it, especially when you got slow moving current like we do, but it's starting to speed up here. Um, eventually the current will get strong enough to where i don't need the drift sock to counteract the wind but uh but right now it's working out hopefully we can get you another fish here ryan boards oh there he is there he is big enough That was a good takedown. Good takedown right there. All right, we got a good one on here. Getting bailed. Oh, wow. This one's so sad. Yep. All right, we got a good one on here. He's swimming to the side. Bill's in the fight of his life. The current's pretty strong, but for a fish swimming sideways like that, he's got to be a decent one. Keep that pressure on him. Oh, yeah, there we go. That's a good one right there. <clears throat> he's talking about my real favorite, reel, <laughs> favorite rod. Oh, he's smaller than I thought he was, but that's a good fat fish, man. Nice one. <clears throat> All right, that was a chicken fish. So we got a bluegill fish. Oh, we got a, no, that's the chicken. Fish. So, that's bluegill. They like the bluegill in the river here now. Yeah, that's bigger than the last one. Want me to hold the rod? Yeah, I got it. Pull him up ahead of you. All right, there you go. You got him. Got him. Yeah. All right, I got your rod. Need a little bit of slack right, there. It, yeah, that current started moving pretty good. But that's. That's what we were hoping for though. We we're hoping to get that current moving so that these fish would start being active. 
<laughs> that's some brute muddy river catfishing brute that's the same one on that rod too that might just be a, a good rod today the only only rod without high vis line i wonder if that has something to do with it you got that cajun red on there can't see it for nothing there he is y'all not, not as dark as the last uh -huh. one but similar size man he or yeah, she or he or whatever hit like a ton of bricks. I'm I thought saying. that was a lot bigger fish than about 10, 12 pounds or something. <laughs> and especially because it swam to the side yeah. over here. I thought it was gonna be a you know at least a 20 right. something. Hey, we're we're, we're glad safe. to have them, man. That's two nice fish. I'm out of shape. Go get the release. You can release them right back here. Yeah. Yeah, that last release is a little clunky, yeah. so we're gonna do a. I wanted to nose dive them in. Yeah, but, it's hard with them, but the bigger they're... ones. Goodbye, fishy. Go tell your friends. I'll take care of you. Go, Here go, it goes. Where you go? He went down. <laughs> he said, "I'm tired of swimming. I'm going straight down." Yeah, Good job, Bill. Oh, there he is. There he is. Good job. Oh, man, that's a good one. Yeah. Get that GoPro. Oh, did he let go? Oh, no, no. Did he let go? Oh, no. 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 Okay, we are in spot number two. We're suffering for you guys. Just want to let you know. It's like 9 billion degrees out here already at 10 a.m. But uh, we love you, and we want to show you some awesome catfish action. So we're sacrificing for you. So what we're doing is we're, we're still spot locked. We got the trolling motor up here spot locked. We threw the drift sock out the back because the current's not as strong right here up against the bank. We got uh, six rods out, or five rods out right now. Mixture of uh, perch and bluegill, that's it. Perch and, and uh, brim, basically. And we're sitting outside of the rice field and we have a log jam or lots of flooded timber, I guess people would say. So we're sitting up on that and we're gonna give that a shot for about a half hour. And if not, we're gonna move on up river. PB Buster, Buster, some triple loop for my seat, my truck. Just <clears throat> ready to go, boom, 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 right now, bam. Oh, there he big is. hit, big hit, big hit. Uh-oh. Just going, rolling. All right, hooked up. He doesn't feel too big, but man, that was quick action, wasn't yeah, it? it was. <laughs> <laughs> right there, we just got here. Nice takedown. Back in the sauna. Back in the sauna. <laughs> Told you, we love you guys. That's why we're doing it for you. He's, he's sticking to the bottom. Like a fly? I haven't felt any, any shakes. Oh, oh, a little pool. Might be. I think he's gonna be a little fish. There's the rolls. There's the little fish There's rolls. The rolls. It's coming up though. Yep. So blue. Little old blue. There's the bubbles we're there looking bubbles. for. All right, there's the fish. All right. Look at that. First one on the brute. That's the Nocturnal Nation brute. Gonna grab me a net. It's hard. It's hard to get good help around here, guys. <laughs> but he's hooked really good. That hook really stuck him in the corner. And uh, like I said, that's a, well, all our fish today have come on these brutes. There he is. Bill's like, yeah, my two were a little bigger, Kev. <laughs> okay hey jackson jackson action is action special yeah. move to a new spot yeah we hadn't been on the spot what five minutes not even five minutes yeah, yeah we not definitely even. hadn't been in the water five minutes <laughs> i was hoping that was our our flathead because mm -hmm. we we're anchored up on some some good structure down there so we'll dark. take we'll take a blue he's dark too 
He just stabbed me right in the thumb. All right, hook came out nice and easy. Get that out the way. Yeah, these smaller ones, guys, they, they'll get you pretty good. Nice little five or six pounder. That's my skunk is off now. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna get him back in the water. Ooh, stabby good. <laughs> Burn. He's biting down. He's free. See ya. Tell him we got See fresh ya. bait, come on. Okay, after that third fish, no other action at the spot. We stayed there about 30 minutes after that fish. So we went up river and uh, I'll show you where we're at now. We're still spot locked uh, off the main channel. We've been lucky with pleasure boaters so far. There is a bass tournament going on, but I think they're all in, in another part of the river. But we're here up against this uh, main channel ledge here, and we scanned this whole area up here, Mark Fish. Uh-oh, speaking of which, that one just got hit. Just threw it out. Um, but we marked a bunch of sunken timber or trees or whatever and some fish in it. So that's what we're trying right now. Hopefully this rod bends over. Hopefully that was a little flathead bite. And I will be back if there is a fish on it. Guess that old boy thought he could go through anything. He had to abandon that one. We're in the final spot of the day. We're spot locked, which has been the theme of the day. The tide is, is gone. I mean, the water is gone. We got stumps that I've never seen before sticking up. You know, this, this, this is usually covered by four to five foot of water. We got birds up here trying to stay cool in the wind. But uh, right now, oh, fish on, fish on. Right now we got a fish on is what we got. So we're gonna get this fish and stop talking about what we're doing. <laughs> All right. Bill is on it, baby. It's fish number three for you, isn't it, Bill? Y'all, the, the wind is blowing very strong. So I'm sorry for the wind noise. Yeah, I, I turned around and saw the rod folded over. So hopefully it's a real good one, man. <laughs> that's our that's our pleasure boaters day. That's why this is the last spot. Little head shake there. All right, here he is. That's the biggest one of the day. So far, pull him up so we can see him. Oh, he's rolling. All right, let me get you the net. Pleasure Boat City, baby. Let me move this rod out the way for you. Got it? There you go. Right. What you got there, Bill? Nice and here. Yeah, bright and shiny. Good looking one, man. Sure. He hit like a ton of bricks, didn't he? Nice thing. Ready, yo? Yeah, we're ready. He's upside down. There he goes. You see, he had spawn marks there on that fin. So he just come off of the nest. And you got him, Bill. He chose you. <coughs> so the, uh, cut the fin trip. Demon that was a different rod this time though. Yeah, well, time. <laughs> Catfish Bill Demon Dragon. All right. Well, let's see if we can't get another one before we go. It's hot. Have I failed to mention that we're in South Carolina and it is super, super hot. Uh, definitely 90s, very humid. But we're spot locked again. That's the theme for today, y'all. We're spot locked. 
and uh, this is a different variation of spot lock than we've had all day. We have the drift sock out, which we've done, but as you can probably tell, the drift sock is out to the side of the boat, not doing us any good because we have wind blowing over here from the west and it's uh blowing the pontoon boat around i love my pontoon boat but uh the wind loves it even more oh, oh, oh. Fish, 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 fish. <laughs> Switch the rods over and then as soon as he set it down, turn around and wham. Yep, we didn't recast anything with the one. Bill has just caught that fish on and as soon as it went down. This is the uh, fifth takedown I haven't seen initiated. <laughs> Bill saw all of them. <laughs> He's gonna get under that dress sock and play with me. That rod tip action. That's a heavy action rod. Seems like it's got some pretty good action. He's gonna try to go up under. Looks like the same fish, Bill. <laughs> That's that not oh he's barely hooked. Barely hooked in the top of the mouth. He's leaving out of here. He's like, I'm still hungry. Oh yeah. Less headroom for sure. Y'all, I'll tell you what, if you want to save some money on demon dragons, you like the way they sound, like they don't sound like a little baby rattle. <laughs> if you like that and you think your fish will like it, check out the description. We've got promo codes in there for a lot of things. Not only are you helping the channel out, but you're saving yourself some money too. Alright, there's another 18 pounder, close to 20 pounds. I'm comfortable calling him 20 because who cares, right? <laughs> it's a good fish. Very good. Let's get him back in. Thanks. Majestic beast <laughs> released back to the wild. <laughs> Woo! That's two fish from one hole. All right, guys, we got two nice fish from this spot. And uh, I mean, we could stay here all day and fish, but we are hot. Are we hot, Bill? We hot, we hungry, we thirsty, and we're satisfied. We got we got five nice fish. And uh, we also talked a little bit about spot locking for catfish. It's very easy to do. If you have the means to get you a trolling motor with a spot lock feature on it, it's a really powerful tool that'll keep you from throwing anchors every time you stop. It makes thinking about moving to a different spot a lot easier to make. So I hope that helps you, uh, the drift sock and, and all that. hope that helps you with your plan to go out and find fish. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not. Share it to the world. And until next time, happy fishing.